What's up with y'all? I'm back with another video. Today we got in the studio with Lexi Lou. It's on both screens. Without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Talk about it? It hasn't been released yet. My favorite track I've written so far is called Manta. That's my favorite aquatic animal. <laughs> it's gonna be a bop, you know. I feel like music's just always been there. That's, those like two of my favorite songs by her as well, Manta and Nada. This, this song, if you ain't heard this, this song's so hard. <laughs> This song's so hard. I feel like music has just always been there in my life. Choosing to devote myself 100% in music was like the only option for me that seems reliable and trustworthy. Telling my parents is a little bit hard because I wanted to go to college in the States when I was in elementary school. We've been preparing for this for a long time, but this abrupt decision of mine shocked them for a bit, but they still supported it and went for it because music was the only thing that made me feel happy and alive. I grew up a lot in these three years. 13, 14, I've went to a lot of auditions. When K-pop started called, I was like, okay, even though right now I don't really want to be a trainee, I'm actually intrigued by being a part of them instead of just imagining what that would be like. So I just went for it and experienced. The most important thing was that I figured out this is not my way. Because I don't think I feel really comfortable under that kind of environment when everybody's you know, watching you on your every move. I don't really want to be the one that's copying or like repeating what someone put in my head. I'm a very selfish person when it comes to making music. My idea was always put first. People keep calling me a rapper or like putting that sticker on me, but... And she got a little cute smell. I never even really seen her like this. I knew she was a cute girl, but like, nah, she's damn gorgeous. Naturally, her and just gorgeous. She don't need nothing else. She don't need no BBL or nothing. She like perfectly fine the way she is. I never knew she was that beautiful for her. I never, and I don't even compliment people, not in a physical sense, at least. It'd be more about like your energy or what's your aura to you or your aesthetic or how your clothes compliment you. I love a female that can dress, so. She actually, yeah. My idea was always put first. People keep calling me a rapper or like putting that sticker on me, but that's not the only thing that I am trying to be. Cause not only I'm trying to crack the barrier between languages, I'm trying to crack the barrier between genres too. So I wasn't even thinking that much when I'm making music. I tried to combine, you know, rap elements, R&B elements. Yeah, I love her a lot. She do the same thing. I do the same thing. I've been on it since I was like in sixth grade, like trying to mix this up with other, but I found out other people do it here and there. They don't do it how I would do it. Like it could be a Jay-Z, Drake did it before, Kendrick did it before as well. But it's like, it's different. I rap in Russia a little bit, English, I mix it all up. And I'm trying to step, I'm trying to, I'm listening to everything. Techno, K-Vasha, K-pop, J-pop, C-pop. I'm listening to all kinds of things. So I can just be, just renowned and rounded in music in its totality. It's one of my first loves, but my first love growing up, the first art I ever dabbled in and was great at, especially I exceeded how good I should have been at that age, was drawing. And I used to always hear my mu always hear music, like, you know, when your parents and them playing music and all that, and I always, so that was like second. That was like second, so it was music. Yeah, even like it. pop music elements and like all together and become yeah. me. Hey guys, this is Lexi Lou. And another thing I like about her, like I can tell she introspective. I can tell she knows something more to life. 
Like I didn't heard her mention a few things and how she even go about her lyrics. Like it's like more in a mystical realm of things. Like whether it's chakras, sacred secretion, kundalini, poltergeist, hexahai, whatever. It's like souls, spirits, spirituality type, like bravado thing like to her down to like how she even expressed her lyrics so i know it's something more like she not like the average npc she got a little bit more she got something on her mind like i done heard some lyrics and she's saying things i don't hear people talk about because when i talk about these things people looking like, are you weird or something like so i'm trying to think like give you a reference from a song i done heard it so many times even her video the direction of her videos how she go about that it all intertwined. It's like a futuristic cyberpunk vibe. And she speak on some things that's some es esoteric knowledge, spirituality like things like. And I appreciate that because that and she mixing it all Chinese, English, all different genres and all that just making what that makes her hurt. So, yeah, I appreciate it of being able to even perceive other people art. Whether I perceive it the way they intend it or I don't. But nonetheless, it's dope experiencing good music, for sure. So let's continue. Please vote for me on days 100. Vote for me, please. Her voice, too. Shit, I vote for you. Where do, where do I sign up? Thank you. Days 100. It's like a cool ass person. I couldn't even think of no, like from the songs that I heard her say some things though. Like, why I've literally got song titles. That's literally the word she used or whatever. Like, you can tell from an NPC and from someone that's, y'all ain't gonna know what I'm talking about, but that's it for this video. Don't forget to like the video. If you like the video, comment, share, subscribe, turn on post notifications, DM me the link via X, formerly known as Twitter. Let me know what you want me to react to next or what you want me to talk about. Shout out to Lexi Lou. May she get her just due, as well as BB. Because it's crazy. I see, not to compare, I see other people that got higher numbers, but numbers don't always translate to this person is better or whatever. Shit, times might just be behind, or people might have to catch up. You might be ahead of your time. Like her whole vibe is futuristic, so she ahead of her time, I feel like. She will get her credit someday. Y'all like the video if you like the video. I'll see y'all in the next one, man. I'm out.